You can ask yourself really every week, every day, or for every project, what is the one next step that would make the biggest impact? That's a quote by Jenny Blake. This is episode 263, my book reflection. You're listening to The Hidden Why with your host, Lee. G'day, THY crew. Welcome to The Hidden Why podcast. My name is Lee Martinuzzi. I'm glad to have you here. I am The Hidden Why guy, helping people discover their why to live life with greater passion and purpose. Guys, every week on Friday, I review a fantastic book. Today, it is a book by Jenny Blake, who will hopefully be an upcoming guest on the show very soon. Her book is called Pivot, The Only Move That Matters Is Your Next One. It's a fantastic read. Have a listen to my review, see what you think, and let me know what you think in the comments section at thehiddenwhy.com. Guys, if you're not currently satisfied with your career, looking for a next move, perhaps just wanting to shake things up to create some more excitement, motivation, then certainly it's a book that I'd recommend to read. It's a very practical kind of a book to guide you through on that transition, on that next pivot. So good read, guys. Share it with your network if you love it. Facebook, Twitter, you can connect with me there as well. And guys, if you do love what you're hearing, please make sure you subscribe to thehiddenwire.com and also The Hidden Wire podcast. Guys, I'm about to launch, if not already have launched at the stage of recording this, I am unsure, but I'm about to launch the THY TV, which will be an extension to what we do here at the Hidden Why podcast and thehiddenwhy.com. So check that out too if you are interested. I'll stick the links on the website at thehiddenwhy.com for you. It'll be a YouTube series, so you'll be able to find that easy enough. Guys, enjoy this review. Enjoy your day, and I'll talk to you very soon. This is The Hidden Why, discussing ideas and thoughts on living life with passion and finding your hidden why, your reason, your purpose. Hey guys, welcome to the Hidden Wire podcast, my book reflections. I hope you're well. I am just pouring a cup of green tea as I speak into this microphone. That is not me going to the toilet, if that's what you can hear. Welcome to the show, guys. Hope you're having a great day. Today, I'm reviewing a book which I thought was a fantastic read. It's a book by Jenny Blake. The title is Pivot, The Only Move That Matters Is Your Next One. So it's a really practical guide really for anyone looking to take a transition into a new career. Perhaps it's the case that you're not currently motivated with your occupation, you don't like your job, Uh, maybe there's some level of discrepancy with, with your values as to what you're doing that just doesn't feel right. Perhaps you feel that your skills and talents are being wasted in what you're doing. It might just be that you're not living a life that you truly desire and you know I talk about that a lot here and certainly guys if you are not then you should because life is about taking your own journey. It is about experiencing this life in whatever way you desire to experience it. And if you're spending the majority of your time in an occupation or job which isn't satisfying to your soul, then you you need to really start thinking about that and create some awareness around it. You might be already aware if it resonates with you, this message, but you need to just start thinking about how you can make a change. And really, I'm here to tell you that you can. You can do what you want to do. You know, I've kept making pivots. I've kept making transitions in my life. And every time I've done it, it, it seems to be with greater purpose. My life seems to be with greater meaning. And certainly that's what I talk about a lot with the hidden why. And that is my desire now is to just excite people to understand that that's okay. You know, I haven't made all the best moves and certainly I don't know all the secrets to doing it, but I really believe that that what is that's why we're here that's what our life is about it's not about to you know be stuck in this in this industrial sort of aged mentality where we're working away doing stuff that just doesn't carry any meaning i mean what's the point of living for 40 years in that sort of a state of being it's just to me depressing and um you know i know how it feels i was there and certainly i was able enough quickly enough to, to make some moves. Certainly, I wish I knew what I knew now when I was 20. Perhaps I would have taken some more purposeful direction. But guys, that's what it's all about. So if you're, if you're feeling like that, if anything I just said resonates with you, you might really enjoy this book by Jenny Blake. She talks about pivot and how you can go about setting yourself up, not just sort of rolling the dice and taking a gamble to your next move, but actually really setting yourself up to make a more purposeful next move. 
So she talks about that. I love the subtitle, you know, the only move that matters is your next one. That's so true in many aspects of our life. You know, the next thing we do is really going to have an impact on the, on the future of our being, on the future of our success or whatever it might be. And you can look at everything that we do. Everything has, has an accumulative effect on that. And that doesn't mean we can't relax and, you know, rest and, and just disconnect from time to time. I think we need to do that more often, to be honest. Um, but certainly it just means, you know, creating more purpose behind your next moves. And I talk about that a lot as well and resonate with that message here within Jenny's book. So she talks um, about the pivot method. It's a, a, a series of stages to make your pivot happen. And I'm just going to get those stages correct here. Give me one second. So she has five stages that she talks about. And those stages are a plant, scan, pilot, launch and lead. So she guides us through on each of those stages and each section she sort of introduces the section what it's sort of about and she you know gives a bit of a, a summary of insight into what we can expect so we have clear intent going forward and then she provides some real world examples in each section as well of people that are actually doing it and people who have done it and the experiences that have been learnt there. From there she provides thoughts on actions and um, techniques that we can take and adapt into our own lives to help us make this pivot in our life as well. So really, as again, it's a really practical guide, um, one that um, will help you make a more purposeful next move. I really like uh, some of the honesty in this book. You know, it's it's easy to say, you know, just go out there and take a leap of faith and start living that life you want. And I feel that Jenny sort of connects, well, she connected with me in a way that sort of said, you know what, it's great to have those big dreams and those big visions and certainly have those but, you know, sometimes you have to put a bit of logic behind it as well. And sometimes you have to put a bit of realness behind it as well. And it may not be right for everyone to take that big leap, to just suddenly quit and follow your passion and and hope for the best, you know. It, it might be better. Um, and she describes it in sections three, stages three and four. She talks about uh, the pilot and then the launch stage. And I really liked the pilot stage. It was really insightful for me is that, you know, just go out there and do little tests. You don't have to take these big leap of faith or these these you know, ginormous risks um, into following what you want to do. You can go out there and test it. And for me, that connected with me, for one, because I, I don't feel I always do that the best I probably could do it. So I really enjoyed reading her thoughts on that. Um, so, But it certainly, for me, is also I have done that a lot. I have tested the waters a lot and, and sort of said, well, does this work? Does that not work? more so recently, you know, and and sometimes I beat myself up about it because I go out there and I try this new thing. I think, oh, this is a great idea. And then I put some effort into it, mainly time, not so much monetary. And then I go out there and test it. And if it doesn't give me a right feeling within, I can sort of say, well, it's not going to be for me. It's not going to work. Or if it doesn't actually work out there, if it doesn't have any viability in the marketplace, then I can say it's not going to work as well. So she discusses both those points uh, in this book. And certainly, I resonated with it because I have had that experience recently where I've gone out there, I've tested things out. Um, recently, I set up a meetup group, tested that out. It didn't really feel right to me. Um, it didn't really have the, the the impact that I wanted to have either. So it's just like, well, I'm not going to keep exerting my energy in that. There might be a different way. So I, I need to you know, work smartly with that. And certainly, I didn't want to spend all that time investing in that going forward if it didn't have that right feeling for me in the first place or didn't have that right impact in the first place. Perhaps there's some things I could have done better to gain a large impact, but certainly I, I felt that it just wasn't for me. So that's what can happen when you do those little tests, those pilots, before you go into a big full-out launch. So she talks about that in the book as well. In section, stage one, sorry, I keep saying section, but she uses the word stage, so I'll keep consistent with that. In stage one, she talks about the plant and really connecting with your why. Um, I don't think she uses the, the why as much as perhaps I do, but certainly... You know, you need to know your why before you proceed because if you don't know your why, it's like just, just going with the flow and, and letting the current take you in life where the current takes you. If, you. if you sort of connect with your why, you can then grab that rudder on your ship and you can just direct yourself more purpose, purposefully towards the direction you want to go. And that's ideally for me is the state of being of happiness, you know, greater happiness in life. So she really talks about, you know, connecting with that, connecting with your understanding your skills and talents, knowing what fires you up, what you're passionate about, understanding it and getting clear on your on your values, your needs, your desires, and then really allowing those to navigate you through life with greater purpose. 
So I really connected with that section and certainly it resonated with the message here at The Hidden Why. Guys, fantastic book. I don't know what else I should be mentioning for you to take a uh, take a read of this book. I think if, you know, being that it's the new year now, it might be a very worthy read for you. Um, over Christmas, New Year's, you might have had a lot of time to reflect and say, hey, well, is this really for me? Is this what I want to be doing? Certainly, that's the times when I sort of have to question, you know, life and what I'm doing and, and the meaning of it all. And every time I've done that, I've sort of gone back with this freshness and going, well, how can I shake things up? It may not mean that you need to necessarily leave your workplace. Perhaps you love what you do. You love your workplace. But some of the tasks or projects you're currently working on just aren't really motivating you anymore. So you might want to, you know, to speak to the boss and maybe discuss and, and brainstorm some new ideas. She talks about plenty of examples in the book of people who have done that. And then, you know, they've just tested it and it seems to be a viable sort of product or idea for that business. And then it's just grown from there into a whole new career and job for that particular individual. So it might not be the case that you want to actually leave. Or it might be the case that you are just dissatisfied with what you're doing and, and, and your workplace. And look, if the stats are true, I mean, it says to up to 80% or over 80% of people are dissatisfied with their workplace. If that is you guys, you don't want to keep going around in circles because that's what will happen. It'll keep going around in circles. Jenny touches on this point, but the the state of our reality, the, the way... Um, the way we do our work, the way we operate as a society is changing and it's changing rapidly. There's no longer the security of a 40-year career and a job doing the same thing. Um, certainly for me, I wouldn't want to be doing that anyway. I don't want to be doing the same thing. It just, just doesn't feel like it would be fulfilling enough to continue to do the same thing. I like that consistent challenge and, um, and the challenge that is, is connected with my why, not with someone else's why. You know, you can work in a job and, and be challenged all the time, but if it's not really connecting with your values and your, your core, your dreams, your vision, then you might just find lack of motivation there as well. So that's the state of the reality. You know, people are changing jobs every couple of years, every few years. So to make your move more purposeful, to really start living the life that you desire, have a read of this book. It's a, it's a really enjoyable read. I hope you get something out of it and I hope your next move is more purposeful. Guys, you can pick up a copy at thehiddenwire.com. Go to the show notes at episode 263, I'm pretty sure. So 263 or just type in the word pivot or Jenny Blake and you'll find the show notes there. You can get the links to Amazon to purchase the book. It helps support the show, guys. If you're a fan of the show, if you're a regular listener, um, you can purchase all your Amazon um, products, etc. through that those links and that just gives us a little bit of an affiliate um incentive for directing traffic to those guys. Also, we do have a deal with Audible. So if you're not yet an audible.com member, use the link there and sign up through our page. That would help us as well. And you get a free audio book or two free audio books to sign up for a 30 day free trial. You get to keep the books. Guys, audio books are fantastic. Guys, that's it from me. Until next time, enjoy your day. Peace, passion, and purpose. Speak soon. Thanks for listening to the Hidden Why podcast, where it's all about living life with passion. For all the latest news and updates, please subscribe online to thehiddenwhy.com. There you go, guys. I hope you've enjoyed today's book reflection, the book by Jenny Blake, Pivot. The only move that matters is your next one. Pick up a copy at the show notes at thehiddenwhy.com through Amazon, Audible, etc. Guys, if you do love it, share it with your network. Connect with me online as well at thehiddenwide.com. You could subscribe to our newsletter. I share a weekly newsletter with updates as to what's going on in the hidden wide world. And also I share some inspirational thoughts in each one of those. Connect with us on Facebook, Twitter, guys. Share it with your network. If you have a chance to leave us a review on iTunes, that would be great. You know what to do. You need to go out there and breathe more passion into every single moment. You need to find more purpose in everything you do. And in doing so, discover your hidden why. This is The Hidden Why. My name is Lee Mundelzi, signing out. Cheers. Thanks for listening to The Hidden Why Podcast, where it's all about living life with passion. For all the latest news and updates, please subscribe online, thehiddenwhy.com. This is The Hidden Why. Are you ready to discover your hidden why? To discover your life's purpose? Then jump onto thehiddenwhy.com and download my free discovery questionnaire. It's designed to help you connect with what's truly important in your life and in doing so, create more freedom, fulfillment and happiness. This is the discovery questionnaire. You can download it at thehiddenwide.com under the resources tab. 
discover your hidden why.